Hello everybody and welcome back to a new game, Synergia. I picked up this game and I don't remember what this game's like. Oh fuck, no, 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 no. Uh, what I, uh, uh. Uh, uh, uh. Shit, what happened? Uh, history. There's still two functioning models. Missing. Computer still receiving its data. Yes, sir. But the location signal is coming from the first machine. We might be able to disable the tracker, even though we cannot be sure without accessing the database. That'd be extremely risky. Definitely not. Anyway, this could be a chance to see how these models behave in hostile environments. Keep an eye on the functioning android to make sure. It is out of danger. Find the other one. We'll keep you informed. I, okay, I already got hit like a fucking bucket. My schedule for today lists a six hour self action. I don't know. There's nothing as nice as rainy days. It's a nice day if I were home. It's not nearly as fun cooped up here in this car. There's a cloud general right here. I don't do anything to get tourists. Best things about this district. I'm, from, eh, I'm good here. There he is. He's bringing the smell of rain inside along with him, although his cigarette stench of soon overwhelms it. I'm Cilia. This morning, if it doesn't displease me, I can tolerate him way more than the rest of my co workers, but it's not really gets on my nerves. A woman just kept a yammer and all, nothing important. The android, would you mind putting out that cigarette? It's raining outside, I can't smell smoke anywhere else. Take me home then. Did you tell the boss? I sure did. We're done for. Th I sure did. We're done for the day. As I was saying, it's just another outdated android. It didn't support the latest version of Holonet, so it was giving her trouble. I hate being called for this kind of stuff. When do we turn to Holonet's onset tech support? Blame it on the war. Companies have their hands full with all those updates. They need to keep the androids safe from hackers, and they should use old models like I do. I don't get why everyone is obsessed with the new ones. You have to admit, you have to admit they're charming. People get fond of them. You used to love the new models, or so I heard. Hmm. I wonder if he's talking about... No, I don't think so. I know. I thought they were alive, but I grew out of it. I know. I know. It's hard to believe since my first love was an android. Oh, come on. <laughs> Great, it seems he knows nothing. I'll have to make something up. It's true. It was a first-generation commercial model, handing out flyers near my house. How could you even like it? I mean, those had all their wires in plain view. They didn't even look human at all. I think barely around half of them passed the Turing test. It's embarrassing to think about it now, but I thought all those wires looked cute. I was just a little girl, you know? I guess they were like toys for me. What about family, then? How do you plan on to have kids with an android? Can't imagine my life without my two little kids. Mega takes every single chance to boast about his kids and how natural they are. They'll probably end up with implants in every nook and cranny though, just like everyone else. I know this might surprise you, but I wasn't exactly planning on having kids when I, when I could still count my age with my fingers. And to this day, Having kids still isn't one of my priorities. That's why I thought... Don't you ever feel... That's what I thought. Don't you ever feel lonely all by yourself in that shack? Why do you even care? Besides, I'm not alone. I live with my android. 
Right, your android. You just told me it's an old model. You sure it can keep you company? No, it's just there to water my plants. Of course it keeps you. Of course it's company for me, and many more things. Things, huh? You're not breaking any laws, are you, Celia? Are you, Celia? Maybe that's attraction for machines wasn't just puppy love after all. He gives me a glance out of the corner of his eye. Looks almost haughty. I know he's fishing for, specific, for a specific answer. It's not like I haven't thought about it before. Having a crush on the android decades ago doesn't mean I want to fuck every single piece of scrap metal I find. Don't make me regret telling you that. Okay, okay, jeez. It was just a joke. You don't have to get like that. I just want to, I just wanted to know it. It's shitty companies. Are you happy now? Let's just leave it at that. I don't want to talk about it anymore. I knew it. If you ever if you ever need to hang out with a flesh and blood person, just tell me. You can have dinner with us. Never in a million years. Sorry. Just think about it, alright? It's important that our group stays healthy and united, you know? What's good for the group is also good for the individual. I know. I've read the manuals too. I just don't like family dinners, that's all. Just try and cheer up. I don't want you watching over my back while you're moping. Again, it's just an automatic medical checkup. Those things mess up all the time. Besides, your life is completely different from mine. That's why you don't understand me. You hit the nail on the head. My android isn't exactly the best company. I have to take care of my health by myself. Still, it's not something I want to talk about with him. You're right. He can't understand you. But I know someone who does. Have you talked with Darla from Velta La Not really. She's weird. Besides, I'd rather avoid Velta as much as I can. I spent way too many years of my life with them. I still think you should get to know her. Just because they're working for a big corporation doesn't mean... doesn't necessarily mean they're evil. Look at yourself. You're working for an amazing company, yet you're still a pain in the ass. Very funny. She doesn't come with us often, anyway. Actually, actually, she requested to join... she requested to join our unit. I'm gonna convince our boss to send her out with us. Try to be friends with her. I can't promise anything. There's something I don't understand. You don't trust androids, yet you're really interested in working with them. How exactly did you get into this section? The boss is friend. The boss is friends with my brother. A crony? Really? Ugh. Hey, someone had to take the job. It's not like I'm not qualified. They usually do a competition for those. I had to pass, pass a test. You take any chances, you take any chance you get. And it hasn't been too hard for you either. I guess. We got closer to my house. The huge apartment block that, remain, that reminds me more of a hive than a real home. Vega parks the car in front of my building. See you tomorrow. Hey, think about what I said. Go out, take a walk. Just don't stay home all day. It's not good for you. Yeah, yeah. The building is quiet as ever. Something I deeply appreciate. I walk up the concrete stairs leading to my door. I can hear Elaine opening it. Hello, Celia. Hello. My day has been great, as always. I finished all my tasks in record time. I also cooked the noodles you like. Weren't we having meat today? Ah, I forgot to buy it. Sorry. Okay. Is that a random event? Delete that personality feature. I'm gonna go change. Sure. My bad memory feature eliminated. I thought I erased all those random events over the years. To be honest, I ended up regretting it every single time. Elaine ended up as a boring piece of scrap. And well, that part, well, well, that's partly my fault. I can't stand it when she tries to act human-like. 
I'm done, Elaine. I'm done. Elaine, I want to ask you something. Go ahead. Doesn't it bother you to erase your own personality, little by little? I'm just doing what you ask me to. How can you keep me good company then? What if I'm wrong? My analysis says that you are healthy, and the odds of inc and the odds of incorrect orders are very low. Besides, I always have to follow the orders of my master, unless they require harming another human. What if all these personality changes, change orders, are actually indirectly harming me? Your cold behavior is affecting my mood, partly. Yeah, that's it. I am not responsible for psychological harm caused to humans due to following their orders. I know. I just thought your AI was more... Whatever. I want to... I was just messing with you, don't worry about it. I am not. The rule applies strictly to physical damage. My mere existence is enough to harm some humans, feeling-wise. What's your generation, Elaine? Second. You're definitely top of the line back then. You haven't aged too well. It has been some years since I had good maintenance. Your food is getting cold. Please let me heat it up a little bit. Whatever. I'm not hungry. I sit on the couch, turn on the TV, and put on the news. Lena's always liked to listen to it. I even recall her asking me to let her watch. It's one of the, her personality features I never erased. I'd hate it even more if she acted completely brainless. Besides, her strict logic comes in handy when I need some explanations. The Emperor's Palace is currently taking place in Conqueror's Square. It seems like the leader of the Republican Party are absent again. Don't you think it's strange to have an emp to have emperors, empires, and emperors in this age? It's almost arch anachronistic. Well, it is mutual. It is a multicultural country, in a state of constant expansion, ruled by an e ruled by an emperor. I think calling it an empire is correct. A lot of people love the emperor. If only they knew. Do you know? Know what? He's a cyborg. He is? Yes. My team went to the palace once. The emperor's got a sex android harem. And he himself... Half machine. There's actually a council ruling in the background. They're just keeping him as a public face. The A harem. Was it not that sex with androids was made illegal? Sure was. Banned by the Emperor himself. During the TV? During the parade, three members of a terrorist group, White Cat, were arrested. All of them veterans from the Expansion Army. Seems like there's still some members out there. Do you know them? They are a terrorist group, right? Yes. They used to give us a lot of trouble. They've always been very skilled. They're veterans, after all. But for some reason, they disappeared. Did they disappear? Or did someone make them disappear? My team had a couple of missions and managed to get rid of a few. But it might be... But it might have something to do with the improvements to brain chips. The real threat now are the androids, not cyborgs. Do you think I am a threat? Not you exactly. I mean androids just gen generally. You are indeed a threat, and always have been. Androids are just as dangerous for the human race, as much as humans themselves. But it doesn't mean we're going to go extinct. Our, our laws say, laws prevent any damage. Laws prevent any danger, sure. But those laws are only just because a programmer decided to put them in. Any programmer can make a murderer android. Well, not any programmer, but a really good one could do it. Still, that's enough. Suspending interest feature 
I hope I did not hurt you. Hurt me? No way. <laughs> Let me watch TV. We could have made her ask that question. Maybe it's a security protocol. Hey, Elaine. Why did you ask if your action hurt me? I have to look after your health. Thought so. A factor? A factory from the company Smart Movement has been closed after discovering their vehicles were being hacked to drive to the docks where a body trafficking gang would capture humans and androids alike and take them over the Yellow Sea. I guess Beta Team did a lousy job. They shouldn't have let anyone know about the factory closure before getting the traffickers. Now they won't get anyone. Mr. Jonan Schaffer has been declared innocent after the prosecutors failed to prove prove his ties to the presence of synthetic workers at the Wal Waven Bunch brothels. Hypocrites. Doing it with a robot must be absolutely wonderful seeing how popular those brothels have become. Elaine, would you ever have sex with me? I mean, if you had sexual organs. Well, I have to follow your orders, so I guess I would ban on sexual intercourse is one of the most important laws in the newest models, didn't you know? Is that why you do not want to upgrade me? Are you thinking of having sexual intercourse with me? Of course not. Besides, as I just said, you don't have sexual organs. But with a little imagination. Do you want me to do something, Cilia? You just have to order it. But I have to remind you of what the law says about it. And even if you have been devoid of affection for quite a while, you could always get into legal human brothels in the city. I wasn't suggesting anything. And where did that affection thing come from? Leave me alone. I see you are upset. Do you want... Shut up. I clenched my fist to calm myself down. It's not the first time she's gotten on my nerves. Every time I try and talk to her, she drives me insane. It's alright. Tell me if you need anything. The fast food chain, Old Days, has been forced to close three of their restaurants until they are upgraded to serve cyborg meals. The new artificial nutrition law enforces every establishment to serve this kind of meal. This is new regulation is also causing big problem for the owners of small businesses who can't afford the new mandatory facilities. I take some of the noodles Elaine prepared. They're pretty good. Maybe I should thank her for it. But thinking about it, she wouldn't care if I thanked her or not. I shouldn't bother. Parity has shown their new line of women's lingerie, ranging from the most suggestive panties to collars, even a whole new section of ropes and bondage attire. Hmm, good memories. Today, Corpo Industries has launched their new memory chip mod module. A large amount of students are currently waiting in line in front of the stores to be the first one to try it. The creator of the chip hopes that Thanks to this, a new era will dawn for Alzheimer's patients and students with bad memory. Universal basic income has become complete. Implemented has become completely implemented in the districts of Atlas. This has led to riots in poor districts as they claim that they need that income more than the developed districts. The riots were put to an end by the police a few hours later. Hours passed as if they were minutes. All the weariness I brought with me was left on the night doorstep. As always, the sun comes up, and I haven't managed to get a single second of sleep. Elaine has been looking at me all night, again. Fourteen days before the Synergy incident. For we live by faith, not by sight. To Corinthians 5 7. 
I get up off the couch. Another dose. Ugh, bitter. Elaine, the time? Shit, I'd better check the holonet. Did you sleep? Did you sleep in again, Cilia? I've been waiting here for, out here for ten minutes. I'm sorry. Sorry, I'm coming. I dress as fast as I can and leave my place without e eating breakfast. Vega's in the car waiting for me in the usual spot. You can't keep oversleeping like that. Every single day, Celia. I'm sorry. Tell them it was my fault. Pfft. Can't even. I can't be here to keep you in line all the time. I'm not your father, you know. I already said I'm sorry. Besides, yesterday we got back to my house very late. It's not my fault. I'm not getting enough sleep. Ogre's Ogre Division's in charge of paperwork today, so we should get back early. This could be our last case together, you know. This could be our last case together, you know. You've been promoted? I'm getting replaced. I'm sorry, Celia, but they don't trust you. And I think neither do I. Are you shitting me? What was that whole thing of yesterday? Fuck you. The boss has been informed. Don't worry about it. And if I were you, I'd try to change. Things might get bad for you if you don't. Figure, what the fuck are you talking about? Come on, Celia. You know you're wrong. I'm just trying to help you. I'm getting replaced by that girl I talked about. Talked to you about yesterday. Darla? You're gonna like her. So that's what that talk was about. Who does he think he is? He can't trust me? What the hell? You're an asshole. Really. You go around telling me how to live my life, then you're just a bitter, bitter family man. So shut the fuck up about, for once about, for once, Vega. Go on, keep acting like a self-center, as you always do. You know I'm, I'm not your daughter, Vega. Go lecture someone else. You don't even know. Vega slams on the brake and pulls over. Get out of the car, Celia. I can't believe it. The hell I am, this car isn't yours, it's the company's. But the company has put me in charge. Get out of the car, the office is just a few blocks away. Walk it and cool yourself down a bit. Just start the car again. Get out of the fucking car, Celia. I get out of the car and slam the door shut. I'm still trying to process what's going on. Everything was so sudden. God damn it! A few pedestrians stare, but they go back to their routines in a few seconds later. I guess I'll have to walk to the station. It's kind of cold, and I didn't put on any warm, put on warm enough clothes. I still don't understand why Vega did that. But if he doesn't trust me, then I suppose it's better if he leaves. Now I'm gonna have to see him all that, all day. That fucking asshole. I arrive at the building and walk up to the room where the boss is waiting for us. Everyone's in their seats and today the cases have already started to be assigned. Late again, Celia. I'm sorry, Lieutenant. I decide to stand up by the window. I don't really feel like listening to this. He's assigning the cases one at a time and it doesn't seem like there's anything big today, just as usual. Androids keep getting more reliable. Nothing ever happens inside the border. Sometimes I wonder if I should enlist in the foreign forces and said, Cilia, Cilia, so you're not just tardy, you're distracted too. I'm listening, sir. Ugh, I don't have enough time to repeat the whole case again over again. Kyle will tell you the details in the van. Kyle? Vega's replacement. Ah, I thought it was going to be Darla. It's complicated. They'll explain it to you. I walk down the parking lot. The other groups are already leaving. It seems like my new partner is waiting for me in the van. I get inside from the back and try and get comfortable. Are you Kyle? That's right. Where's Darla? She couldn't come. She's joining us in a few days. Is Vega coming with us? 
he's no longer part of your unit, so he went to the site in his own car. From now on, we'll be using the van. I get it. Whatever. Tell me about the mission. It's a married couple. The women, Christine, the woman, Christine, is 40 years old and the man, Felix, is 43. The woman called a few hours ago claiming their android had taken her husband hostage. They're locked in the bedroom and the android refuses to let him go. There aren't any records or proof of purchase for this android, so I suspect it might have come from the black market. It's probably the source of the problem. It's going to be hard to deal with an unregulated android, especially if they're strong enough to kidnap an adult man. So what's your role here? Back up. I'm covering your rear with my rifle. Why do I even need a sniper? Safety? I can't help but notice the Velta Labs logo on his arm. He works with them too, just like Darla. Hey, why am I getting grouped with Velta mercenaries? Darla's gonna be going to explain it to you tomorrow. Don't worry. We're not mercenaries. Sure. After a few minutes of silence, we arrive in the building. It's a fairly standard apartment complex. Kyle gets on the rooftop of the building in front and stands guard from there. I take the elevator to the floor where the couples live. Vega and a few other agents are already there talking to the woman. Who? Who's that? The specialist. She's gonna deal with the android. Isn't she way too young? No. No, I'm not. And I need you to elaborate on this whole situation. Didn't Kyle already explain it to you? The androids locked itself in with the husband and its hostage. That's it. Or as its hostage. Did it do it for a specific reason? Perhaps, perhaps something happened? None that I know. I'm asking her. No, it's never acted like that before. It's gotta be broken. How strange. So where'd you buy it? It was such a long time ago, I don't remember anymore. Sure. Does it ever go outside? Of course not. Why not? It just doesn't like it. Cut the crap. We're going through that door sooner or later and checking on that android. You don't want to cooperate with us? That's on you. Cilia. The curtains are closed, but I can see them with the heat sensor. A man's laying on the bed, but still alive. The android's right by the door, listening to you. Child height. It seems like it's conformed to be an illegal android. To tell me, Christine, are you or your husband infertile? What kind of question is that? Her face flushed as soon as I saw the question. Asked the question. She's definitely not going to be help. She's definitely not going to help me. I should try and work with the android. I get close to the door. Trying to connect her, I think the android risky, but I don't have any options, but it hasn't helped. Hey, can you hear me? What's your name? Jim. Your original name. Do you know who Sal is? Is that you? No. What do you want exactly? Hey, Vega. Is there any way to access him through the network? It doesn't seem like he's going to open the door. The building should have the building should have a wireless access point. You can get to it from the electrical grid. There's a plug right next to the door. I connect my cable to the port and see. Wait and see the andro android sends out a signal just as I thought. It's not only retransmitting data; it's also receiving information from somewhere else. I try to connect to him. There he is. Are you going to tell me your real name now? Well played. Though I have to say, I went easy on you and Christy. This kind of programming, scrap Android. Despite that, it's Codex and changed completely in recent update. That's a weird name for a boy. Wait, wait. 
Okay, I accidentally had it on autoplay. I glanced at the owner. She covered her face with her hand. I think she's finally understanding we got her. It's rare for a black market androids to act this way. What happened? I have a message, just for you. Only you can see it, so I'll send it through the network. For me? Yes, I'm sending it. The android tried to go through my defenses and breach my firewall in order to send me this message. Her attack attempt doesn't accomplish anything. Not against my latest generation skull chip. If you think I'm just gonna let you into my brain, dream on. Heh, <laughs> wow, you're just as good as I expected. My creator, the one who wrote this message. And my personality. He's gonna get upset once he realizes you won't be able to see him. So I guess that's it for me, right? I'm almost sad. Seems like her real... I think she really was just a pawn controlled by that hacker. He must be good at stimulating feelings. This android has a really believable personality. You've got a very particular AI. So I'm sure the tech team's gonna have a field day with that data. We're taking the version of you. They're taking a version of you. And I promise you'll be better off with us than any scrapyard hacker. The thing is, we've got to arrest your owners, and we can't do that if the door's closed. Is that okay with you? That's fair. Christy opens the door. But just as I glance inside the room, she's trapped the man by twisting an iron bedpost. It's not strange for black market androids to be manufactured without any kind of safety limits, so she's got superhuman in strength. What a pair of idiots. How long have you been here? Just a few days. I figured the android will never give me any specific information about her creator. Still, I have to ask. I'm intrigued by that Sal guy. Can you tell me something about him? I wasn't expecting that. Sal didn't really create me himself. He just put my brain inside this boy's body. I was a pretty girl. Perfect enough. Perfect even. I was created for the doc's biggest gang leader. But after a couple years, he... Well, he tossed me away and changed me for a new model. You know how it works. Typical. Is it? Some of those gangs live just like kings. Some took me in and repurposed my mind for this tiny body. He ever wrote my behavior patterns with those from his... With those from his squirt. But he didn't erase my old AI, so I'll be able to give you his message. And I've been here ever since. I don't know why they brought me. But I think I understand it's hard to adopt a kid. I don't know why they bought me. But I think it's... I understand. It's hard to adopt a kid. They wanted an android to avoid the paperwork by buying me. And Sal planned everything. So you were the one to come for me. A perfect plan, isn't it? So perfect, it didn't work. Are you going to use your voice and video records to put those two in jail? Do you have them? I do, and I'll gladly give them to you. How can you say that after all we've done for you, Jim? For me? You bought me two days ago, you ungrateful little piece of shit. You can call each other names at the station. Vega gets close and takes the android. Let's get going, kiddo. Let me go, you old geezer. Celia, I hope to see you again. Sal told me that you were beautiful, gorgeous, and I have to agree with him. What a guy. Better call up the boss and fill him in on the situation. Like always, he's connected to the holonet. Lieutenant, everything went smoothly. We have the hostage and the android. It seems like they were related to a hacker named Sal in the black market. Good job, Celia. I'm glad to know you're in good shape, but I hope you don't mind your new partner. These are all just formalities. It's fine, Lieutenant. I have a request. Can I take a day off? I need to get used to all of this. Sure, we'll deduct it from your vacation days. You did a great job today. Hope Lund Sec values your work our, the work our employees do. We're not just another private security firm. The state has put the district safety in our hands, and you've made good steps towards preserving that today. The company takes great pride in you. Of course, thank you, boss. What about the vacation days? 
we'll get to it later. Celia, we're done. How shameless. I think I'll stay home tomorrow. Either way. And let future Celia regret it. Good luck with your new partner, Vega. Farewell, and good riddance. Celia. I wish you luck. Goodbye. Take care of the rest. I have to get back on the train. At least... At least I can take a look at the city I'm supposed to protect. This shithole. Even the most upscale neighborhoods are corrupt to the core. Sometimes I wonder if I'm, why I'm sitting in this place. I don't care about it. I don't like my co-workers. I don't get paid well. I guess that's just all I have. Well, that and Elaine. I don't know which one is worse. Nothing in life is to be feared. It is only to be understood. Mary Curie. Half an hour of walking, and I'm absolutely wrecked. I thought I was in better shape. I've got to start working out again. My produce cells have gotten lazy. Anyway, so far this day's been absolutely horrible. I just hope Elaine behaves. How strange. She's not waiting on the doorstep for me. Maybe her day was too busy, and she's still working. Or it could be a feature that I haven't deleted. Elaine, are you here? I don't know why I'm yelling. This flat's barely 30, 300 square feet. I enter and turn on the lights. Elaine is right there, sitting on the couch. Hey, Elaine! Why aren't you replying? Elaine! I get closer to her. She's turned off, but not by... But it's not her batteries. She'd have told me. I can't get to her during... Through my sp spirit. I almost forgot I have to use it to manually connect to the holonet. I turn her back on. Hello, please insert a memory disk in the Artificial Intelligence version 3.0 port. Elaine, what are you talking about? What happened? Why did you turn off? She's not responding. Shit, that's just what I need. I hope everything is fine. This was just a crash. And it was just a crash. I need to take a look. I go grab my toolbox. Elaine's pretty old, so she shouldn't be too hard to fix if her pieces are fine. If I can't, I highly doubt I can afford to get her fixed. The hardware for these models is discontinued years ago. I use a screwdriver to open the latch that covers her brain. When I pull on it, my hands get stained by sticky fluid. It seems to be everywhere. What the hell is this? It's definitely not rust. I take the pieces out one at a time and clean it up with a rag. After that, I cover her processor with thermal paste and connect to everything. All her parts are in good shape, so I assume the strange flu was, cause, was the cause of the problem. She's ready to boot again, so I run my spirit rye. Elaine? Elaine? Stand by. This process could take several minutes. What do you mean, starting up? No, no, no. Please give me your ownership card. Elaine, load up the latest backup. You're not just dumb. You're now deaf, too. Just load it up, you piece of junk. I run to my desk and search for my card. After five minutes of digging through garbage, I managed, managed to find it. I almost trip on the way back. I don't know how I... I don't... I didn't... I didn't know I cared about, cared about Elaine so much. I hand her the card. There you go. Nice to meet you, Celia. Starting today, I will be your service android and will help you with any tasks you need. Yeah, yeah, just load up your latest backup. Starting up, personality features. Celia, what is my name? <laughs> Elaine. Your name's Elaine. Perfect. That's a great name. I am ready for my first task or task list. Finally, Load up your latest backup. There are currently no backups on my database. What? No, how can this happen? Tell me the latest the date of the oldest entry on your database. The oldest entry is right now. It's gone. All her data has been lost. She was somewhat cold before. Now her personality is no different than any other android. 
Everything's been lost. Elaine died in her own way while I was gone. Deactivate all your features and wait on the doorstep until I give you orders. Are you sure you want to deactivate 6,842 6, features? I might become a bit boring. Yes, I'm sure. Elaine leaves and stands in the doorway, doorstep, waiting. I stay on the couch with a blank stare. Why is this happening to me? Does that hacker have something to do with this? No, it couldn't be that. Elaine didn't even have access to the network. I've ended up completely alone. What do I do now? I don't want to spend the rest of my life like this. I know that. Should I get some human friends? No, that's not an option. My Hollow Knight sounds. I have a call. It's Yoko. I haven't had a good talk with her in ages. I walk up to my desk and connect to my spirit. Yo! Yo! That would be good. Yo, I hope I ain't bothering you. Hi, Yoko. No, I wasn't doing anything. Hey, Celia, sorry for not being around lately. I'm kinda busy, but I'm free now. I just saw your message. A message? I don't know what you're talking about. Hmm? Hang on, let me... Let's just use our avatars. Okay. Oh my god, she's got several salary reductions. <laughs> Let's see, Vika. Aren't you a spec ops? I remember they said you were squad leader in the Emperor's Special Operations Corps back when I was assigned to the sim your team, if that's true. The simple cases lately on second time, I guess that's why you're no longer with them. What do you mean by that? Sublime recordings I told you about. I think they're playing them in some district to increase the docility of the population to make them more susceptible. I don't know, Rose. I think all this stuff you've been going on about just sounds like conspiracy theories. How would you feel? You'd take them if I were you, I'd throw them away. that the rumors are true. I haven't been, had an easy time, it's been difficult to transition for you. Androids are damaging them. But if you keep showing compassion like that, the simple machines, there will be a lot of trouble for you. Cool. I'm next to Yoko. Tell me what up? You're the one who called me. Huh? You sent me a message a few hours ago saying Elaine was broken. But I didn't send anything. Maybe it was an automatic message. Elaine was a corporate model, right? I work with her. It's impossible. Elaine wasn't connected to the net. Maybe it was a hacker. The one from this morning? I don't know, Celia. You're the one who's always getting into other people's brains, not me. Whatever, get your ass to my store. I got new models. And there's one I think you'll be really into. I can't just let it go, and I don't even know if I want another android. I don't have the money to spend. Spare. Oh, come on. That thing was ancient, weren't it? Don't worry about the money. It won't cost you a cent. Do you think that's a good idea? To just replace Elaine? Wait, wait, for free? Who are you? What do you do with the real Yoko? I know you tend to grow fond of androids, but Elaine was just metal and plastic, nothing else. Ain't It ain't a suggestion. You're coming here to see me and that ain't. That's it. 
It's not like I have anything better to do. But I warned you. I'm not gonna buy anything. And what are you... About you, how's everything going? Great! Silly, I've got to go. Stuff came up. Come to the store tomorrow and we'll talk, okay? See you tomorrow. Wait, you're just leaving like that? She hung up. I opened my eyes. I'm in my room again. I better go to sleep. I don't know, it's just gonna be... If it's gonna be easy to buy another android. And that message. Could it be Yoko's just pranking me? Aww. She's a cutie when she sleeps. Consumption. Certainly, it, certainly, it constitutes bad news when the people who agree with you are buggier than batshit. Philip K. Dick. It's high noon. There isn't a better feeling in the mood, world than waking up knowing that you haven't done, that you don't have to work. And that vanished once I remembered that I had to go to Yoko's store. I wasn't excited about, about it yesterday. But today, I feel kind of nervous. I don't even know why. Let's go, Elaine. Come with me. Yes, Celia. I take a floating train to Yoko's neighborhood. It's in one of the district's richest areas, right on the border to the next one. As I walk up, it seems she's just open and no one else appears to be inside. Hi, Yoko. Celia! You finally came! Yoko gives me a gigantic hug as soon as she sees me. I actually feel glad to see her as well. Ever since her therapy session started, we've barely been able to see each other anymore. She still wears her red, that weird red scarf, so I assume she's still part of the bike game. Why don't we put this one back in her box, you hear me? That way we can talk for a bit. Alright. I still can't believe she broke after all these years. Elaine, follow Yoko. Yoko takes Elaine to the back of the store, and then turns her off with spirit spirit. After that, she puts her inside a pod, along with my ownership card. I think this will be the last time I see... I will... I think this will be the last time I will see Elaine. Don't you have any customers? Why don't you... Why... I don't want to bother you. Meh, whatever. You always bother me. In any case, this ain't a place... This place ain't just another store, you know? I don't get too many customers. Especially at this time of day. Fine. And how are you doing? Do you mean how I'm doing in general? The business or the therapy? Everything, I guess. The shop's going well. Like always, we're getting new models and sell them fast. I spread most of my spend most of my time here, working and with the gang. You're still with them? I don't get how they haven't gotten you yet. Because you're crooked. That's why. Because you're crooked, that's why. And I don't get into too much trouble anymore. I just go to drive with them and do a thing or two. If you want someone to discover me, then you gotta be the one arrested me. Haha. <laughs> Just take care of the androids, you know that? I just take care of androids, you know. Although, thinking about that, you're barely human anymore. I'm still legally human. And about the therapy, I'm a much better now. It's hard considering the kind of business I run. But I haven't put anything new in myself for months. I feel a lot more stable. I'm glad. It was harming you. You were turning into a psycho. I mean, more than before, at least. Human bodies ain't ready for experiments for extremely sudden changes. Or that's what the shrink said. Anyway, I'm glad you're not turning into a killer robot. I'm glad too. I like the whole killer cyborg thing. I like the whole killer cyborg thing. By the way, you need a new android, right? Always right down to business. I have problems too. I'm fucked more like I'm getting fucked over. And then Lane broke, so yeah. Have I got you beat have I gotta beat up someone? It's my job. I think they're trying to fire me. 
They blame me for everything that goes wrong, and change my partners. I'm sure they're just looking for a reason. Bah, don't worry about it. You can always work for me. What's a relief? Let's check out that android I told you about. That will cheer you up. I don't have money for a new android. It don't matter, follow me. Okay. Yoko guides me to the shelving shelves area. Different models are sorted into sections, each one showcasing a few types. About half of them are female, and seem kind of bland to be honest. All these androids are too average. I don't care about them. Should I really be doing this? Maybe living alone would be better. There's something I don't like about having to buy a friend. I don't know if I want another robot. Honestly, androids have been bugging me for a while. It's their fake personalities. Look at that one! Yoko moved some models out of the way, showing a pod in the back of the shelf. This one's different. She's in a life pod without any kind of liquid. She's an oxygen tube connected to her neck, and, an, and only the latest generation androids use these. A biroid. Yep. And that's supposed to be some kind of new model? Yes and no. The model's new, named for sale, completely finished, but it's still the final testing phase. This one's actually second-hand, she got a few owners before. Really? You're selling me a second-hand android? It's exactly because she's second-hand, but I ain't selling her. I said it before, she's not for sale. Don't ask me about her previous owners or how I got her. I can't answer that. And they won't track the android? I'm gonna trust you. I hope you, do, you don't get me in trouble. It's free, isn't it? Of course I am. Great, the android is ready. And no, and no, nobody ain't gonna track her. Just don't let her connect to the network unsupervised. Just in case, her old name is Mara, but you can change it if you want. Mara? I like it. Good, I'll send her your place in a few minutes. Don't you need my car? Celia, I know your information info already, you know? I have a bad feeling about this. Oh well. I'll be off home then. Yeah, in a hurry? I want to try her. Well then, have fun! Hit me up on Holonet if she starts doing anything weird or breaks down, alright? Yeah, yeah. Thank you, Yoko. Take care. Thinking back on it, the android had earrings. Her old owner must have likely gave them to her, and Yoko shouldn't have taken them off. There's still something a bit off about this one. How is Yoko supposed to sell the android? I don't think she's the one responsible for Elaine's breakdown. Yoko's twisted, but not that much. Anyway, I have a new android. I'm thinking about it. Elaine didn't really keep me company, so I can't complain. I arrived at my flat, but the capsule's nowhere to be found. Maybe I got here before the package. I head inside. The couriers are as efficient as ever, so I guess I'll have to wait. I hear a knock on my door. Is it the package? I run to open it, but choose to look to the people first. There's a girl waiting. It's the android. She's beautiful. But why is her hair white? It's gotta be a test model. They didn't even dye her hair. Hello! She looks scared. I open the door for her and she ducks under my arm and gets inside my apartment. Hey, I'm... Celia? I mean, Celia? You're probably Mara. I... I'm Mara, yes. So this is your house. Why did you come in here, here in your pod? Huh? Why? I take my card from my pocket and hand it to her. Doesn't seem like she knows what to do with it. What's this? It's my ownership card. Owner? Ah, of course. Yoko sold me. I almost forgot. Yeah, I just bought you. Bought you. Wait, you know Yoko? I don't get it. She remembers Yoko. She probably started her up at the store and forgot to wipe her memory. Classic Yoko. <laughs> Since she finally did it, I'm so I'm your roommate now. Well, 
I bought you, so I guess. Uh, second general settings. Gonna take that down by a little bit. That's a pretty high. Well, I bought you, so I guess. Yoko said she wouldn't sell me, so I guess she changed her mind. I'm glad she did. Do you want to get sold? Hang on, wait. First of all, why are you already booted up? Why shouldn't I be? Whatever. What did Yoko say about me? Nothing in particular. Hmm. Can I know why you still have memories? Didn't they wipe them before putting you up for sale? Of course I have memories. Memories of my old family and Yoko, though they're kind of blurry. Never had a good memory. I got that from my sister. How strange. Maybe I should call Yoko. Now I'm going to live here. It's a lot better than the warehouse. I think this is the special thing she mentioned. An android with memories. I guess she thought that'd give her a bigger personality. I'm not sure if I like it. Hey, you know what? Your hair color reminds me of something that happened to me the other day. Mara makes a puzzled face. Uh-huh. I saw at my food stand that we're selling a strangely colored candy. I'd never seen it before. It's called cotton candy. Cotton, like the one used for clothes. Could it be that your hair just made with the same substance? What stupidity. How's it going? Wait a minute. Did you just try the Turing test me? I must have hit a nail on the head. Because you seem upset. I'm not going to fall for the trick. Well, I didn't expect you to catch me so fast. You didn't even try. Mara smiles, proud of herself. For now, I was just testing the waters. There is one thing I would like to ask you. There is one thing I'd like to ask you. You are a bi biroid, are you not? I don't really know what a biroid is. An android made of organic materials. Have you ever cut yourself? Bled? I think I've cut myself before, and yes, I've definitely bled. That's not really enough to know if you're a biroid, but I'm still pretty sure you are. I'm curious to how you see the world. What do you mean? Do you see any kind of information that human beings can't see? And how am I supposed to know that? I've never seen the world through the human, through the eyes of a human being. In fact, I've never seen anything through the eyes of anything other than my own eyes. Has your brain always been inside that body? Wait, wait, wait. Would you stop with that test thing? I know what you're doing. Test. Damn it, she really is perceptive. She got me again. I had a lot of tests when... You know, forget it. Just stop asking me weird questions. What's this about you having a lot of tests? Tell me. No, it's not something I want to talk about. Tell me. It's an order. No. What? You can't refuse. I'm refusing right now. This android. It is something very peculiar. It answers in a very unique way to all the tests I do, and it doesn't seem to follow any laws or rules. Maybe it's from the black market. In that case, Yoko could have put me in a good mess by selling it to me. Hello, I'm still here. So how did you get here exactly? You weren't in any capsule, so I guess you came by your own. I don't get it. You were inside the pod before you left the store. The pod mistakenly arrived at one of the upper floors of the building. A girl dressed in red woke me up there and walked me to your door. Why did I send Mara to another floor? Maybe it was a mistake. After all, I didn't give her my details. She must have forgotten. No, no, that girl already knew the capsule was going to reach the upper floor. Why did they do that on purpose then? That's weird. Did she tell you her name? No. And the truth is that that was a little dizzy, so I didn't ask her either. In fact, I'm still dizzy. I've barely had any glimpse of the city that girl was shoving me down. Well, now you're here. Honestly, I don't know what to do with you. I guess I'll figure it out later. What do you mean by that? Don't worry about it. 
and you'll see the city soon enough. If you say so, at least can you show me around? Late? It just got dark. Oh, of course, you're a cop. It's the pills, but yeah, how did you know? I saw your badge on the uniform laying there. Right, well then, I'm going to sleep. I'm going to sleep too. Please wake me tomorrow. I don't want to end up sleeping all day. I've got more than enough sleep in the pod. Wake you up? Sleep? How do I say this? You're a machine. You can just log off. I don't think I know how to do that. You don't even know how to turn yourself off? What's wrong with sleeping with you? Do you see that thing on the floor? That's my bed. I sleep in on a futon. Well, I can sleep on a futon too. My back may be hurt a little bit in the morning, but I can live with that. I don't think you understand. I don't have another futon, so you're going to sleep on the couch. I'll sleep with you. Of course not. My futon's for humans only. You're going to sleep on the couch. Okay, but only for tonight. Tomorrow I'm going to sleep for you. you. Uh, but you're a robot. You don't need a bed. You've got a bed. Why can't I have one too? Please! Ugh. Okay, we'll do it your way for now. I don't know... Didn't know company androids could be so demanding. Companion androids could be so demanding. But she seems like a good girl. Or AI, if I want to be more specific. She's definitely complex. No doubt about that. I'll test her a bit tomorrow. But for now, I better t get. I better be getting off to sleep. Take off my clothes and get under the covers. Mara plops down on the couch, laying on her side, looking at me. Her face completely flushed. I choose to ignore her and slowly drift off to sleep. Psst. Psst. What do you want? I was about to fall asleep. I'm scared. Can we talk for a bit until I get sleepy? Scared? What are you scared of? I'm just nervous. You can talk about yourself if you want to. Maybe her personality is too complex. What do you do at your job? I'm a negotiator for the Cybercrime and Robotics Division in the D District's Police Department. That sounds interesting. Tell me more. I know it's interesting, but I'll tell you more tomorrow. I need to sleep. I can't go outside. I'm gonna stay here, but you can use my computer or read one of my books. Just don't connect to the network. Okay. Now please, let me sleep. Alright, I'm sorry. Sleep tight. Shit, I stayed up too late. Now it's gonna be hard to fall asleep. Getting up tomorrow is gonna feel like death. So we're gonna drop off right here. 12 days before the Synergy uh, incident. Things aren't different. Things are things. William Gibson. So we're going to end off here. Thank you so much, everybody, for coming and watching and joining us today. If you like what you saw, because this is honestly interesting, I can't really give too much commentary because it's just constant reading. But it's not bad. It's not bad. I don't hate it. This is an interesting stop plot. So thank you so much and have a great night.